morning. So I'm moving right along with my Thanksgiving series. And this morning I'm going to be doing greens, putting greens on and showing you how to cook your greens. Someone asked me for this video, so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get all set up and I'll be back. Okay, so first of all, I've washed my greens. Um, I had a video that I put out earlier where someone had gave me collard greens and I went ahead and washed them. And I put them in the freezer. So these are all ready to go. They're frozen. And then I went ahead and invested in some spinach because I like my greens mixed. So I bought some spinach, spinach, and some kale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add those to the pot. Usually I don't cook my meat first, but I bought ham hocks and these ham hocks have a tendency to be um, difficult to get done. So what I did is I went ahead and I cooked my meat and I set the pot in the refrigerator, took out the bones from the ham hock, set the pot in the refrigerator, and now I'm warming up the juice from where the meat was cooked so that I could add my greens. So as soon as that meat um, warms up and the juices warm up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my greens in. Okay, so as you can see, the juices from the ham hock has um, started to um, unsolidify. So let me give you a look at it. That's just like the ham hock and I took all the bones out so that it's not going to be um, bony when I get ready to make it. So what I'm going to do at this point is add my greens. Like I said, I have my frozen greens from the neighbor who gave me some collard greens. And I like my greens mixed. I don't like just one certain kind. As a matter of fact, if you go to the store, you can buy them mixed. But I just go ahead and mix mine my own. So, so I'm just gonna mash these down. They're frozen, but they're gonna cook up really nice. And sometimes you won't get all of your greens in at one time, but um, they all cook down. So I just added my collard greens. Now I'm gonna add my spinach, spinach and my kale to this pot. And like I said, sometimes you might have to let it cook down. Sometimes I'll turn the fire on high so that it cooks down faster. Now you can also add turkey to um, your greens. I would add like a smoked turkey, a wing, or you can do turkey next if that's what you like. So I'm going to put this all in. The juice is up and it's uh, ready to cook these greens. this in and you can see it's starting to rise but it'll cook enough greens we're going to have some of these greens today for dinner which is going to be uh, with fish so I'm putting these in and it may look like I'm stuffing the pot full but believe it or not greens cook down to nothing sometimes so I'm going to put the top on and let them cook down and once they cook down, I'm going to add some crushed red pepper flakes because I don't like my greens super hot, but I like for them to have some type of um, flavor. So what I'm going to do, let's give this a second to cook down because I've, I already put it on high and I really don't cook my greens on high. I usually put them, I like for food to just cook on its own. I don't want to rush it. I just want it to give it its time to cook. So while that's doing, I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can add the pepper flakes without them coming out. Put a little red pepper flakes in there. Close it up. And then you won't season it with salt and stuff until it gets done because 
the meat that you put in may be enough salt or it may not be. So I'll come back when they're done. Okay, let's check our greens. They're doing very good. They're ready to go. And um, you don't have to have this much water on yours. You can pour some off. I'm going to taste a little bit to make sure they're all ready. Nice and tender. Mmm. Delicious. So. If you like this recipe, you can use it. Like I said, you can add turkey. You don't have to necessarily use ham hocks. So, thank you for watching, cooking it up, and exploring with Smitty. See you on the next recipe.